prophets were numerous. The first of them was Adam. And in the 11th year of the Prophet والسلام, he wanted to invade the Romans. So he put in charge of the army a young man named Usama. Usama, the son of Zaid. Usama wasn't even 20 years old. He was 18. The general of the army, he was 18 years old. That's because our religion recognizes the qualified person as a qualified person. And the Prophet ﷺ, he put this young man in charge of the entire army, although there were in that army very high ranking companions who were older than him. However, the army, before they went out before they got far they halted their march because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he got sick alayhi salatu wassalam one night the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he went out to the cemetery of al baqiya making dua for the muslims who were buried there and then he went home and the following morning he had a very severe headache. He went in on Aisha. He entered in on Aisha. Radiallahu anha. And she had a headache. And she said, Wow, Oh, my head. And so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, بَلْ أَنَا Rather, oh my head. And the Prophet ﷺ, he said to her, What do you think if you were to die before me and I stood over you and I shrouded you and I prayed for you and I buried you? She said, I swear by Allah, as if I am there and you did that and then you went back to my house and there you were with one of your wives. And so the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam smiled at that and his pain increased. Despite that, he was still going amongst his wives giving them their turns. Once when he was in the house of Maimuna, his pain became very severe, alayhi salatu wassalam. So he gathered his wives and he asked for their permission to be taken care of in the house of Aisha. And they accepted. And so the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he went out between two men helping him and his feet leaving lines in the ground. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Aisha said that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he got very sick. And he said, Have the people prayed? She said, No, they are waiting for you, O Messenger of Allah. So he said, Put some water for me in the tub. And so they did so. And then he washed up in that. And then he went to stand up and he fainted. Then when he woke up, he said, have the people prayed? Aisha said, no. They are waiting for you, O Messenger of Allah. And that was for the Isha prayer. So the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he sent for Abu Bakr to lead the people in the prayer. So Abu Bakr was their imam in those days. And then at some time, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he found that his sickness got lighter. So he went out between two men. And when Abu Bakr saw that while he was leading the prayer, 
he wanted to back up so to make way for the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam signaled to him what means as you were as you were and then he commanded the men who were supporting him to sit him beside Abu Bakr and so Abu Bakr was praying while standing and the Prophet alayhi salatu was was praying while sitting and then the Prophet alayhi salatu was he sat down on the mimbar and he addressed his companions and the first of what he said was in speaking about the people of Uhud and he sought forgiveness for them and he made a lot of dua for them and then he said inna abdan min ibadillahi khayyarahu Allah bayna ad-dunya wa bayna ma 'inda indeed a slave among the slaves of Allah Allah gave him the choice between the dunya the earthly life and what Allah has and so that slave chose what Allah has and Abu Bakr was the only one who understood what the Prophet وسلم, was hinting at and he started to cry and he said we would give ourselves and our children as ransom for you O Messenger of Allah and at that time the people were being slow about being in the army of Usama. Some people said the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam put in charge a youngster while there are greats among the immigrants and the Ansar. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he praised Allah as Allah should be praised and he said oh people, oh people support the command of Usama I swear if you have something to say about his command then you have something to say about his father's command before him he is indeed qualified for the command and indeed his father before him was qualified for the command wasn't it enough that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam appointed him? And then the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He came down from where he was and the people went about their business getting ready for the army. And the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam his pain increased. And Usama and his army they went out they got outside of Medina and set up camp and then the rest of the people arrived and the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam became very sick and among what the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam did in those days was that he commanded for all of the doors that lead towards the masjid that go into the masjid be sealed except the door of Abu Bakr after appointing Abu Bakr as the Imam he saw one time Umar being the Imam and he said la 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 let Abu Bakr be the Imam for the prayers and while the Prophet alayhi salatu was was very sick Aisha said I saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with a container of water and he would put his hand in there and then he would wipe his face with the water and he would say Allahumma inni ala sakarati al-maut Oh Allah help me to bear with the pains of the throes of death and the Prophet's loved ones they would come and visit him. One of the companions, he visited the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and found his fever very severe. He can feel the heat 
coming out of his body alayhi salatu wasalam. He said, O Messenger of Allah, how severe your fever is. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, we prophets are like that. We are given the greatest calamities and our reward is multiplied. On Monday, in Rabi' al-Awwal, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he got up and he stood at the door of the masjid and he looked at the people praying Salatul Fajr and his companions could see him and they were ha very happy and they opened their lines for him to join and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam he signaled to them as you were, as you were and Anas narrated that he had never seen the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam more beautiful than when he saw him standing there that day so the companions, they were hopeful that the Prophet وسلم, had gotten better and that his sickness had passed. And then the Prophet وسلم, he went back to his room and it was there and then that Allah wa ta took the Prophet's soul sallallahu alayhi wasallam and his suffering had ended and it was said that that entire ordeal of his sickness was 12 days or 14 days. And when he died, Fatima, his daughter, she said, Ya Abata, Ajaba Rabban Da'a, Ya Abata, Jannatul Firdausi Ma'wa. يا أبتا إلى جبريل أنعا. It contains the meaning, Oh Father. He responded to the call of his Lord. Oh Father. The garden of paradise is his abode and other things in there. And when the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam passed away, the people were confused, surprised, as if their minds had gone away. And they had different cases. As for Umar, Khubila, it was like he lost his mind or he became crippled. And he was saying, he did not die. Wallahi, he did not die. He went for an appointment with his Lord like Musa went for an appointment with his Lord and he will be back. And Uthman, it was said about him that he went mute. Whether he came or he left, he didn't say anything. And others, they got sick. And when the news reached Abu Bakr, he came to the door of the masjid and Omar was talking to the people. And Abu Bakr didn't pay attention to any of that. He went in to see the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he uncovered the Prophet's face and he kissed him. And then he put the cover back over his face Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then he went out to Umar to speak to him. He said, Umar, ala rislika ya Umar, calm down Umar. I'm sick, listen, Umar, listen. And Omar refused to listen and he kept talking. So when Abu Bakr saw that Omar wouldn't listen, he stepped to the side and he called the people. He started talking to the people. And then when the people heard Abu Bakr talking, they went towards him and they left Omar. And Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, he praised Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. And he said, Ya ayyuhan nas, O people, Innahu man kana ya'budu Muhammadan fa inna Muhammadan qad mat. Indeed, whoever was worshipping Muhammad, then certainly Muhammad has died. Wa man kana ya'budu rabba Muhammad, and whoever was worshipping the Lord of Muhammad, fa innahu hayyul la yamut. 
then indeed he is the one who is living and does not die. And then he recited the ayah from the Quran. وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلُ Muhammad is not but a messenger, and there have passed away before him messengers. Meaning, if it is valid that the messengers before him have passed away, well, he is a messenger, so then it is valid that he would pass away. It was as if the people had never heard that ayah before. Until Abu Bakr recited it on them, and then it was as if the people had just taken it from Abu Bakr. And when Omar heard that, his legs could not hold him up anymore, and he collapsed. He said, I swear by Allah, as soon as I heard Abu Bakr reciting that ayah, I fell to the ground, and my legs could not carry me. And I knew that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had passed away. So after Abu Bakr had recited what he recited, then the people, they came back to their senses. And they accepted the reality that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam died. Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. So then they had to prepare him for burial. So there wasn't anyone in the house but some of his family, his uncle Al-Abbas and Ali ibn Abi Talib and Al-Fadl, his cousin, and Qutham, another cousin of his, and Usama ibn Zaid and Salih, his servant. And so... One of the Ansar came to the door and he called out to Imam Ali, Ya Ali, We want our share of the Messenger of Allah, Ali. So Ali said, Udkhul, come in. So he came in and he witnessed the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being prepared for burial, though he did not physically participate in that. Ali, he had put the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam against his chest. And Al-Abbas and Al-Fadl and Qutham were turning him with Ali. If you have ever taken care of a dead Muslim, then you know you need to turn him right and left and right and left and Usama and Salih they were pouring the water and there was not seen on the messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam what is seen of the dead people like their eyes sink in their cheeks sink in like this, their complexion may change. You see the death in them. So this was not present in the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then they had to bury him alayhi salatu wasalam after they shrouded him in three white shrouds. But they didn't know where they should bury him. Should they bury him in the cemetery of Baqir with the other Muslims? Should they transport his body to Mecca? Should they take him to the land of the prophets, Jerusalem? Abu Bakr, he recited to them the hadith, Al-Anbiya'u yudfanuna haythu yu'badun. The prophets are buried where they die. So they just moved his bed over and they dug the grave there. And when they were filling in the grave of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Fatima said, Atabat and Fusukum and Tahuthu ala Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at Turab. Do you feel good about throwing the soil upon the Messenger of Allah? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam The Muslims, 
they paid allegiance to Abu Bakr on the day of the Prophet's death. Immediately. 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 Muhammad is the last of the Prophets and their leader. The most knowledgeable among them, the most beautiful, brave, courageous, and generous. He had the most signs among them and the most outstanding miracles. 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 Miracles.